this is an example of a very simple, inexpensive, do-it-yourself, cantilever style boat lift. I'm using a Harbor Freight worm gear winch. It comes with a handle with a uh, socket that uh, you can manually turn. I'm using a uh, old Craftsman drill to make uh, life even simpler. Uh, what I've done extra is I've put these uh, bars on here that um, lock it in place when, uh, when it's all the way up. Simply I've added two pulleys in the mix here to help it uh, lessen the weight that it lifts. Put on a 300 pound boat with a 20 horsepower motor, 14 footer. Um, the extra chain there is because this cable length um, is too short, it's 25 feet long, to go down four feet in the water um, when the lake is, is low in the wintertime. So now it's a matter of drive the boat up on it, flip the switch, and bring it back up. That's all there is to it. Um, what's happening underneath there is I've put two 4x4 four four posts into the uh, ground for each of the steel pipe legs. Um, I did that when the lake was low and uh, sunk those in uh, three feet into the, uh, into the ground and then a bolt going through the bottom of it that it hinges on uh, and then some angle iron that um, then use it used to uh, pivot at the top. Uh, I got the inspiration, the idea from somebody who had actually done this all with two by fours. So uh, I wanted to make it a little bit more robust. Um, but uh, yeah, I use steel there um, and uh, lots of bolts. Uh, but you can do it uh, you know, for a lightweight uh, little sailboat or skiff or something uh, just out of two by fours. I hope this uh, inspires some people. Um, I had. Uh, fun doing it. It uh, was an inexpensive way of getting my boat and keeping my boat out of the water um, when I'm not using it. That's it.